Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I'm high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee was with his. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce a character known as Supernova. And if you guys bear with me, I'm going to read the introductory, and hopefully you guys would be able to, um, calculate along and such, so that way a better comprehension would come into play. So just bear with me, and I shall introduce her to you. Supernova, number one, the beginning, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 29, 2015. To begin our story, we start observing the Priantrum Nonsiculus and Zilver as they have a relaxing time in the depths of space. However, the Priantrum Nonsiculus developed an intense migraine in her skull. Oh, uh, Zach, can you please help me with this? It's driving me insane and Zack was willing to help her out. After he shot a cosmic beam from his hands to her forehead, a spirit emerged from her brain. What is that, Peggy? Zilver said in confusion. Whoa. I think it's the soul of our new daughter. Due to their cosmic careers being needed for the cosmos, Peggy and Zack decided to leave their new daughter up to adoption until the time came for her destiny to ignite. During her time with her adopted parents, the child was granted with the name Laura. At the night after her high school graduation, her parents revealed the whole thing to her and she was quite surprised. That night, while she was sleeping, Laura Laura got a dream vision of her being guided by her biological father, Zilver, to a dirt cliff as her biological mother, Peggy, arrives in Laura's direction. Laura, we apologize that we made a lopsided mistake by leaving you up to adoption. It's just that we've got to make sure that the Leviathan universe is taken care of. After your adoption, Goddess decided that you will possess full control of a cosmic nothingness known only as the Outer Darkness. Hope you forgive us, Peggy explained. After this vision, you shall be nicknamed Supernova, and develop the ability to use the bottomless void of the Outer Darkness, but with the cost of becoming lactose intolerant. We'll always love you, Laura. After she said that, there was a blinding flash and the sound of booming thunder. When Laura finally awoke from the prophecy, she found herself the in the structure of an eight-month pregnant woman, along with learning how to use her outer darkness. Eventually, there was a bank heist going on in downtown New York City and Supernova showed up wearing a black jumpsuit with matching gloves and combat boots. After getting teased at first, Supernova used her uncanny martial arts to defeat them and sucked them into her outer darkness until she blew them out to the clutches of the police. After her first victory, Laura was marked as a hero to be honored by everyone, even the Alpha Gods. The End well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the storyline and such, and it's, um, it's all that I, c it's the best that I could calculate, you know how it is, and, um, and if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, it's your choice, and I hope that future installments would help me, since I've got, the last I check, I have a thousand and... 20, 25, maybe 35 views, and I hope that eventually I would be able to uh, go viral, so that way my creations would be immortalized and such. 
I want them to last, and I want them to, uh, you know, you know how it is. And until next time, I'm Leviathan, and hope you guys have a fine time and such. And until next time, in transmission.